Find the house all in reverse. Oh, by the way, Tom, it looks like uh, Rip's still trying to get a hold of you. Oh, right. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's got to get off soon, he tells me. Cool. Right. Oh, perfect yeah. exit. And I'm here looking at the Doomsday weapon, the final weapon in the fleet. Wow. Here we go. Got gravi gravity. Oh, hello. Got a lovely call room. Thank you. Control <laughs> center, weapons, computer, weapons, two weapons computers. Uh, one of those is, uh, actually there's th three. three of them. So, yes, there is room for additional uh, personnel. Ah, so you could come in here like the Power Rangers and have a really big space gun. Precisely. <laughs> I like what you've done in the walls here, man. Look at this. Look at this. That there is excellent. Look at that. Look at that wall. It's all about the details, isn't it? Look at that. I love the way you put the wall decoration together. You know, a lot of people miss that stuff. Wow. Everything you need for a successful doomsday device. Exactly. And I like this as well, because it's a bit like in the Hailstorm, the big computery wall I have at one end of the cockpit. I like this. But I also like what you're doing here with the uh, glass glass computer screen. It kind of makes a point to have these decoration points. You know, if you were to build these in all your ships. I like that a lot. That's really good. Mm, yeah. The only ones that don't get them are the ones that they don't fit in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So don't forget about the observation deck. Yeah, I think I fell off. Oh yeah, little, yeah, nice. Little garden, check stuff out. View the stars. Oh, yeah, mini house storms. Everywhere. And then obviously we've got uh, the engines at the back and the wings of the guns. This one actually has room for a probe as well. Probe? Very small, yes. Let's see if I can't dig that one up too. What would the probe be used for? Uh, it depends on what the referee wants to use it for. But it's always good to have things that probe. <laughs> Go ahead and jump off the front here. Avoiding the jump command like the plague after earlier. Why'd you get stuck in something? Oh no, oh, that, that was the station. station. Oh right, did what? Yeah, I, was, I was out of the station and jumping to a ship. Oh. <laughs> I was not in build mode or anything, just out of it completely. So here's the probe. Oh, there's the probe. Hang on. Here, let's have a look at this. That's pretty cool. And it fits rather nicely right under the back here. Find a quick way in. Ah, uh, yeah, nice. So it's sort of an escape mo module as well. Yep. I like the design on the hull on this thing. It's brilliant. I need to take a little, little loop around it, really, because it's so big. We haven't really had a proper look at it. The SFW Renaissance. The Renaissance. It's the Dalmont's first orbital super weapon. Okay. It's great. Worthy addition to the fleet. 
front end's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Bit of cladding. <laughs> right then, so <clears throat> how does this game play out? Well, essentially, uh, you have a space station off the edge of the planet. Yep. And you have a base on the planet. You have an attacking and defending side, and the guys on the space station want to rid the planet of the guys on the planet. So pretty much the story of the human race. Hmm. And uh, you, you get a limited number of vehicles at the start, and the idea is to use them to the best of your ability to take out your opponent, and at the same time scavenge their equipment to make a weapon big enough to destroy either the shielded base on the planet or the shielded space station. Now, those have about 100,000 HP each, so you're going to need a heck of a gun. Hmm. So this is the version that comes with the planet that you're building? <clears throat> That is correct. Now, it is, of course, adaptable since the vehicles are not limited to that uh, that single planet. You don't have to have that space station or anything like that. You can have your dropships and whatever else you need. Hmm. And so the idea is that the attacker comes in with one of these sort of carriers and a bunch of mechs, a super weapon for taking the shields out on the planet? Yep. Um... And, also... and essentially, you have to <clears throat> do the best you can to defortify them. Right. And then the planet would be fitted with as many turrets as they have players. Exactly. And well, turrets and mechs, uh, mechs of their own. as well. Yes, tanks, dropships, whatever, whatever exactly it sees fit. It's a very flexible type of gameplay. Okay, well, how about we do a couple of rounds of mech versus mech and then get the tanks as well. How's that? I love it. All right, let's do that. Tell me about this ship again. What is it called? The Scythe? Yes, that is correct. Uh, initially, it was a part of it was an interceptor for the carrier that I had uh, recently completed. However, um, it has kind of come across as being fairly underpowered. Uh, which puts it in a great position to be an accessory ship for the uh, additional part of gameplay, which is essentially fighting your way through a fleet to get to the planet within a uh, certain res res uh, restricted space, kind of like one sector wide. So you have your capital ship and whatnot, of course, all of these being tremendously underpowered for gameplay reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have your squadron of scythes or mini hailstorms or what have you. How many shields is on these things? Uh, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but it's not a hell of a lot. Uh, it's really quite a uh, fragile little ship. Let me just l put my mech next to yours. This is obviously built by you and custom colored or, uh, by you as well. And uh, indeed, I reduced the thrust on mine. <clears throat> Yeah, they come the ones like uh, yours. They come in, I think, purple, red, all sorts of different colors. But I'm just showing the difference in thrust there. It's not much. It's only like <coughs> what's that? <coughs> Twelve, eighteen thrust blocks difference. Barely even that, but. Uh, but that's fine. Yeah, there's a tremendous difference <coughs> on the planet. Can I give it? Let's see. Right then, are we going to do this? different colors. Yes, definitely. I'm going to turn God Mode off. God Mode. See, I just bounced out of orbit. That Now, the mechs have a little more uh, leeway, but they're essentially needs to be a border. I'm thinking Plex Beacons, something to that effect. Right. I'm surveying the planet. There's no activity so far. I'm gonna move forwards. Take take it take cover in this end Oh, I've got contact taking cover. Oh dear, my aim isn't true. There we go, we've got it. Oh no, the camera's down, the camera's down. 
this isn't good, peeps. Oh, we've got we've got damage. Okay, it's time to do an evasive manoeuvre and get the HUD of destiny. Oh, ring out! <laughs> ring out, indeed. <laughs> I should probably get the more underpowered. Let's see if I can take your camera out. Don't seem to think I oh, can. Oh, this is, this is the shielded one. That's terribly unfair. Oh yeah, I don't have any shields. <laughs> oh, we have a bigger problem. What's that? Isn't inbound. Oh, uh, it's time to team. I've got it. I let I tell you what. Let's let's run for the sides. There's two of them now. Okay. Right, so we've got to get into the sides and get. They're this. explosive, Isan. Just don't let them touch you. They're explosive. You're joking. Yeah, they're brown. Oh no! Wait, they're not the ones I made. Yeah, they are. The Diamonds ones. No, they are. These are the ones I made because they're just literally all the holes are explosive. What I find funny is the explode. The holes don't explode when you shoot them. I'm pretty sure that's the one I made, the DI. Oh really? Fair enough. I don't think I'm actually shooting. Oh well. It's dead. That scythe is pretty good. Clocking in with only about 10,000 shield. You said it didn't have that many. That's not a lot for a space fighter. Oh! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Yeah, I did that one. You got in the way of the hailstorm. Suicide run. That was worth it. Right, hang on. I'm, I ditched my mech into it. Hang on, hold still. I'm coming for your build block. <laughs> Alright. I'm in. Now I'm hitching a ride. Yeah. Could I've got to say, the scythe and its performance begs an interesting question. What if the consequence we were leaving the atmosphere was simply to be ripped in half by the space forces? Which yeah. would give a meaning to air superiority above the atmosphere. What, so you have the big space cannon there so that you can, like, uh, take out anyone who leaves the area? Precisely. I've parked up for you. Okay, where's this ship at? Ah, here it is. Where's the core? There's a little door in the bottom back. Right, what's this then? Oh, I'm in. So in theory, this hailstorm shouldn't break them by the time I run out of power. Right. Theoretically. I'm gonna try it. Oh, oh, and it's broken. Oh, a little bit of a ding. I no had hole. a couple more shots left, I reckon. <clears throat> Let's do this. However, if you were to shoot me, I would lose a lot quicker. Does that do anything? It took about 25% of my shields out. 65, 40, that's shields out. Are we having a scythe war? You want to do some uh, aerial combat? It's gotta be actually, in gravity, you gotta be in gravity, bud. Am I even shooting? Oh yeah, it's hitting. Oh, gotta stay in gravity. Oh. Oh no, I crashed. Oh, shields are down. This is not easy. <laughs> oh no, I've lost my camera. Oh no, it's all gone wrong. I don't think I'm actually shooting anymore. 
No, I think I might have gotten your weapons computer. No, no, it's still, it's, it's good. It's just not firing. Hang on. That's hold up, mind. hold up, hold up. Inspection time. Right. Take a look inside this thing and tell me what you think. Because I think I th it's weird. The weapons computer is still there, but it don't doesn't seem to shoot. Oh wow, look at the damage. Oh, it's right. definitely there. It is, yeah, but check, jump in the core and have a look. Oh, you won that fight, mate. Look at that. I'm, I'm all messed up. I was I was doing alright for a second there, but then I started trying to kite and it didn't work. It didn't work out. Can you not get in it? Whoa. What happened? Did we break the game? Lag. No, the hyper monolith is uh, stuck on something. Oh, is it? Uh, as far as this thing's concerned, it has no weapons computer. Oh, uh, really? So maybe it was just glitched out the uh, menu. Aerial bombardment. Oh, oh yeah, God. fire, fire, fire. Oh, have you got oh my God, take cover. Oh, God. <laughs> take cover. <laughs> well, I tell you what would be an interesting thing Do to try. Do spread fire, man. <laughs> and spin. Uh, oh, and if you look at the atmosphere, that thing is terrifying looking. It's this, all it I can just see is enough to be scary. All I can see is the spinning middle part. You can't see any of the bits that are shooting. It's just shooting. If you come up a little higher, where are you at? Okay. Ah! Just gonna put the god mode back on. Wow, you're about the size I'd like of to the see, sun uh... in the sky. Yikes. Have you seen the pattern on the ground? Yeah, I have. It's just messed up. It really is orbital bombardment. Yeah, we need to develop this mini game big time. We need to finish it. I'd like to see. Uh, I'd like to see this thing take out some mechs and some tanks. I'd like to see it basically. We put them on Ooh, the ground. Tanks. And watch it we, happen. We need to do tanks. Haven't they got like selected target bobby turrets on them? We could. We could do that. Yes. Is that what they are, or do? You, or is it? A well, right at the deal? moment, they're not activated. It's a two-man deal, realistically, but right. it will work. I think it would work with selected target, you know, because I had my uh, Bobby Bobblehead mech. You're a bit dependent on terrain in that situation. Yeah, but then that's the whole point, isn't it? That if the terrain's in the way. Good point. Oh, let's see here. Mini Abrams, where is it? Well, I tell you what we should do. There is uh, one of them in the dropship. You have to drop anything from the dropship. Okay. I'd like to see that as well. I'll uh, just get in my ship and we can film that.